the about early 80s, we were patrolling the Falls Road area of Belfast. Funny thing is, well, it wasn't that funny at all. Three weeks earlier, there'd been a bomb blast, blew up a Land Rover with four young lads in it, killed them. One of them was my best mate, Tomo. All the best mates, we were like brothers. Joined the army together, went through training together, same regiment. I remember he won the Marksman Trophy on training. <laughs> I used to wind him up about that. I said, you couldn't hit a cow's ass with a shovel, mate. At his funeral, they put sandbags in his coffin. There was so little left of him. So here I was three weeks later, patrolling the same area. There was something going on, a lot of tension in the air. I turned the corner and uh, there was a figure standing there, got a scarf around his face and what looked like a gun. I didn't hesitate. Fire twice. Bang, bang. Didn't give him a warning. I should have done. But I didn't care. I said, that's for Tommy, you bastard. I walked over to him. Pulled his scarf down. His young face looked up at me with a tear in his eyes. And, uh, he just said, I'm sorry, Mammy. I'm sorry. And he died. I just murdered a 14 year old boy. 14 years old he was, and the, the gun was just a cheap, bloody toy. <laughs> I'm exonerated. The army was just afraid of the repercussions. I went back to the UK, I came out of the mob, bounced around doing all sorts of things. I don't think they'd have invented post-traumatic stress then. Different places to live. Didn't hold anything down for long. Even the marriage, I got married, it was less than a year. She buggered off. Can't say I blame her. I did hear that he gave her a dose. <laughs> now that's poetic justice. No I'd like to have given her. Be more than a bloody dose. He said, go for counselling, go for counselling, you, you know, you're not right. I mean, I've been homeless now for 20 years and nothing's worked. It didn't help me, it just, I don't know. They gave me a name, was it? Black Dog, yeah, Black Dog Days. Black Dog, I mean, why not call it something proper? Why not call it Mad Dog? Why not call it Mad Dog? We're all bleeding mad, that's the way they see it. And you know what you do with Mad Dogs? Boom, you put them down, boom, boom, boom. Hold up, put me down, put the rest of the buggers down. Save the taxpayer a bloody fortune. That's what I'd do if I was Prime Minister. I'd put us all down, me included. <laughs> Got any smokes? <laughs>